Hi, I'm Dr. David Oliver. I'm a chiropractor. And today what we're going to talk about is a pinched nerve in your neck. Pinched nerve is a common term that's used for people, but the actual causes of a pinched nerve can be different depending on the situation that the individual has. So we're going to go through a couple of those examples, and then we're going to go through some treatments to try to address these situations. So the first place the nerve can be pinched is actually within the spine itself. So if we take the spine and we look at it from the side view, this is where your head basically sits, and this is the back side of you, this is the front. If we look at the, the spine on the side, you can see these little yellow things sticking out. These are the nerves that exit the spine and innervate either our arm from our neck, or if we're talking about our low back, it'll innervate our leg. But we're concentrated on this neck right now. And if you'll see in between the vertebrae here, there's a little bit of a, a spacer. This is called your disc, your intervertebral disc. This can become problematic and actually can start to irritate the nerve. So this can give us what we call a pinched nerve. The other thing that can occur in the neck is the hole where the nerve comes out. So you have these holes in the side of your neck where the nerve actually comes through. This hole on some individuals becomes smaller over time or closed off through degenerative changes. Some people it's due to trauma. And a lot of it has to do with postural distortion. So people tend to be in an abnormal postural position, which actually closes this down over time. So besides getting the nerve pinched at the spinal level or at the disc level, you can also have that nerve pinched away from the spine. So as these yellow nerves, as they exit the spine, they're going to come down through your neck and they're going to feed into your arm. So there's a specific area in your neck here, it's called your brachial plexus, where these nerves come through, that can become irritated. And it can become irritated for a variety of reasons. So you, you have muscles in the front and side of your neck here that can become tight. And if they're tight enough and they're impinging or irritating the nerve root, they can start to, to affect that and give you symptoms into your arm. The other area is you have a couple ribs. The first rib in this area can be slightly out of position or elevated. Again, that can start to irritate the nerve that innervates your arm. And multiple nerves are here, so you can get a variety of symptoms that go into your arm. So it can feel very similar to people to a nerve that's pinched in their neck, but it could just be pinched along in their neck or in through the rib here. This is what some people refer to as thoracic outlet syndrome. So it's very important that you have these two conditions diagnosed properly so you treat them accordingly. If you treat one with the wrong method, you could cause further injury. When you have a pinched nerve, there's a variety of symptoms you can get. The most common one is just general pain for people. And this can come in different locations. A lot of people, it's just straight in the neck. Some people get pain that comes down their shoulder blade. Some people will get pain that goes across the top of the shoulder. Other people will start to, if you get enough irritation at that nerve level, you'll start to get symptoms that innervate or feed down your arm. So the, this can be a variety of symptoms. You can get everything from just straight pain to numbness to tingling to burning to electric-like pain. These are all symptoms of nerve pain. So depending on the area of the nerve that's being irritated, you can get those symptoms down your arm. And depending on the nerve that's affected, those symptoms will go into different sections of the arm. So when it comes to treating a pinched nerve in the neck, the, probably the number one advice I give all my patients that come in with these symptoms is modification of activities. So this comes down to changing the way you sit, changing the way you work your computer, or just taking breaks. So again, most of these conditions come down to abnormal postures. Most people are sitting at their computers all day long. Most people are sitting with their head in a flex po forward position, which is causing the strain that it's caused this uh, irritation to these nerves. So if you simply modify those positions or get out of them more frequently, you can rest those nerves and hopefully eliminate the irritation that's going on there. The other simple, easy one is ice. You know, most of these conditions are due to inflammation. So we want to decrease inflammation. You do not want to increase inflammation, which heat would do. A lot of people come into me with these conditions and say, yeah, you know, I, I put a heating pack on it last night for 20, 30 minutes. I woke up this morning and I couldn't move my arm. That's because they increased the inflammation that was going on at that nerve root level, which caused their symptoms to go through the roof. If we put ice on that, we can at least minimize or reduce some of that inflammation and hopefully reduce their symptoms. You should know within the first two, one to two days if the ice is helping. When you apply ice, you want to apply, if you're applying it in the neck itself, you want to apply it for 15 minutes. You want to make sure you have that area covered and so you don't get an ice burn. 15 minutes, you want to try that at least every one to two hours. A pinch nerve can be very debilitating and can be very problematic. It's pretty complicated, actually, to figure out where uh, these symptoms are actually coming through. Like the symptoms could be coming from the spine itself, an impingement that happened within the spine, as we talked about, or along the pathway of those nerves that innervate your arm. So it's very important to differentiate those. So getting professional advice, either from your chiropractor or your medical doctor, would be very important to determine which 
treatment avenue to go through. There's one stretch we could do that is very effective for a lot of individuals and some individuals it's not effective and it can actually be uh, detrimental, but you'll know right away if it's good or bad for you. So we're going to go through that now. And basically we're going to stick both arms out to our side and we're going to pick one of those arms and we're going to turn it up. So you're going to turn your head towards the arm that is looking down. So what we're simply going to do is we're going to turn our head as we rotate our arms back and forth. So what we're looking to do is the nerves that innervate our arm come through our neck and go through the other side. We're looking to have them actually just glide back and forth. And along that pathway, as they're gliding, there might be some adhesions in there that are causing irritation of nerves. So sometimes going through these motions can eliminate that. It's very important with this exercise that if you do this exercise and you start to develop symptoms, increase symptoms in your arm or your neck as you're doing it, it is not a good exercise for you. And if you continue to do it, it could make things worse. At that point, it's really important to seek professional help to determine what's causing your, your symptoms. But if it doesn't, as you're doing it, again, you're looking at the down hand and you're turning your head slowly each direction. You're going to repeat 10 to 15 times. And you might not notice any improvement the first few times you do it, but you want to do that about five times a day to see if it gives you any relief. Again, if it sees any increase in symptoms, it's not a good exercise for you and you should not do it. All right, we hope you enjoyed this video. And I just want to emphasize that a pinched nerve in the neck is usually caused by poor upper body posture, uh, specifically forward head posture where your head sticks out like this, as well as rounded shoulders, you know, when you're hunched up like that. So you need to fix your posture if you don't want to get a pinched nerve in the neck. And we do have a PDF of exercises that we'd love to send you if you want that. Uh, we'll, we'll send you a PDF to your email uh, with exercises to fix forward head type of posture and, and, and correct your upper body posture. So uh, if you'd like that, there's going to be a link somewhere here on the video to get that PDF, or there's going to be a link in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. Otherwise, please like and share this video.